Welcome to a 360 degree passenger ride video in the new Dacia Duster. So new, it's very similar to before, it's just had a facelift, so some styling tweaks here and there. So this one is the 1.2 turbo petrol, and I like this engine. I reckon if you're not doing many miles, get this rather than the 1.5 litre diesel. Although the diesel's very good as well, and it's what you'd want if you're going to be towing. But for most people, most of the time, this little punchy 2 litre turbo, 2 litre, 1.2 litre turbo petrol is good enough. I can get away with calling it a 2 litre, because it feels pretty much as nippy as a 2 litre naturally aspirated petrol would. So, the dust starts to drive. Now, you've got to bear in mind that this is a cheap car. So, it's huge, offers lots of space, starts from just £9,500. So, you can't expect too much. And, you know, the good points, it's comfy. So, yeah, it rides over bumps pretty well. And it's, it'll drive you from A to B. Bad points are the fact that steering it's kind of like a suggestion it's like i'd like to maybe go that direction please duster and it kind of obliges sort of <laughs> it's a little bit woolly the brakes yeah spongy the seats they're nice and comfy at first but if you have to do long journeys in them they find oh, i find they just get a little bit uncomfortable because there's no support in them look at that also look around the cabin i mean it's very 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 basic this is a cheap car, but it feels cheap. In fact, while it's a new car, it feels like one that was actually built in the 1990s. It, it just feels a little bit old fashioned in everything that it does. The good news is that you get a good view out of it, so visibility is brilliant. There's not too many blind spots. You get race driving position. Another good thing about this car is that you can get it with all wheel drive with all wheel drive locks. It's actually pretty decent going off-road and because it's cheap you don't care about taking it off-road and getting it all muddy. In terms of kit, well the entry-level car doesn't even have a stereo. This one has the upgraded optional sat-nav and it's all a bit aftermarket but oh God, I just turn that off. But it's okay, it's okay. The design, it's functional, let's just put it that way. And the quality is what you'd expect from a car that starts from nine and a half grand. You know this is cheap, it's cheerful, it's actually all right but just don't expect too much and you'll be you'll be fine with it. You just, well, it can just be a bit tiresome to drive for long journeys because, like I say, it feels a bit old fashioned. Now, if you click in the top right hand corner of our screen on the card, you can get more content on this Dacia Duster.